Okay, I lied. More drama. Um, the the bombers just came over and they dropped chemical right up there along the PG&E Pacific Gas and Electric um, electrical lines, and um, you can see it um, when they drop it because it's bright pink. And so I am going to. Um, okay, he's coming back around again. I'm going to see if they, if you guys can see when they drop the chemical. It's my favorite color, bright pink. And, and they're dropping it all along the PG&E line. Okay, this guy didn't drop any chemical. So, I hope I catch some more. I hope my phone doesn't die before I before I can show you the chemical. It's really interesting when they drop it. Um, and and I think it'll probably be a couple more minutes. I'm going to shut this off. Okay, there's another bomber coming around. I don't know if he's going to drop chemical or not, but um, if he does, you will you will be able to see it. And it looks to me like he's gonna. Nope, no chemical. Oh yeah, there it is. Got a little bit of something. And there he goes. Here comes another guy. Let's see what he's gonna drop, if anything. Yeah, see, there it is. You can see all the bright pink uh, chemical coming down that that guy dropped. So that's what it looks like. And it dissipates pretty quickly. It's pretty much gone out of the, out of the air now. If another uh, bomber comes along, I will uh, show it to you. Okay, here comes another bomber. Let's see if he's going to drop anything. I don't think so because he's not up, uh, he's not down near the pg &E line, so I don't think that guy's going to drop anything. Normally they get real low before they drop their chemical. It's a boat from us with our animals. Yeah. Okay, there's a, there is a pg &E We got We got off uh, about 10 or 15, well, probably 15. Right above us trucks. there is a helicopter a with water. It's got a water bucket that's hanging from it. We got two of the correction crews out here. Uh, and 30 guys on each crew. And we got all kinds of. Yeah, we got and you can see man. there. We got helicopters, fixed plane. I don't know if the guys. Jets. I don't know if he's dropped. I don't think he's dropped his load of water yet. It's, you can see it's spraying a little bit. He's probably figuring out where to oh, drop yeah. it. They've got it pretty fast. Yeah. But it, it will probably 10 acres or more. Maybe on up the hill. I don't know what it did. Okay, here comes the helicopter dropping water. And he's pretty much right above me now. Oh, he flew okay. right over my head with his water load. <laughs> that would have been interesting. I don't know what he's going to do with his water. He's got to drop it somewhere. Make a decision, dude. Grant, move our truck, please. I don't want what? it sitting no, there. No, the truck is completely out of the road. We can't move it up there because they're in our road. Okay. I've got it off so he can get by me easily. Okay. Yeah, he's going to drop up on that Oh yeah, he's he's hovering, so he's gonna drop. <coughs> In fact, I just got a little bit of water on me, so that probably dropped. That was from him. Yeah, I just got a raindrop that came off of that helicopter. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and I'm pretty I don't sure. Know where he's getting this water. I don't either, but I think he dropped it because there's no mist coming out oh, of there's it. There's still now. mist. I still see mist. Oh, there's still mist. So he doesn't know yet where he wants to drop this bucket. This tiny, itty bitty little bucket of water. It's not going to do much of anything. That's a hundred gallons. You missed the you missed the bombers dropping. Oh, I saw the bombers. Yeah, before. that was cool. I saw the there we go. Now he dropped his wad right behind that tree. Okay. 
So he finally figured out where he wanted to drop it. All right, I'm going to turn this off until something else exciting happens. Okay, the chopper's coming back. The bombers are coming back. They're really, really hitting it hard. Um, you can't see them in frame yet. Oh yeah, you can see the, you can see the helicopter now. And he's just, you can see kind of through the trees, he just dumped his load of water. And uh, there's another bomber there. So I guess he's probably picking it up from the lake that's about two and a half miles as the crow flies from where we live. So, yeah, I keep waiting for more bombers on this site, but I don't see any more, so I'm going to turn this off. I think that's a little recon plane. I don't think it's got borate in it. Um, it's just, it's flying pretty high. It looks like it's uh, more for um, just observation. It's behind, well, there. That's a bomber over there. So I think because it went down and up, it's probably dumping borate, you know, maybe a mile away, half a mile, something like that. So that's about all there is to see right now. And they got a bunch of trucks on white phones. Did he say where it started? Uh, they, they Which don't direction? Know for sure, but it looks like it came right off of Albury Road up here, maybe. And then just went up the hill and over to White Thorn that way. That's what it looks like to me. Cause see, that's white thorn back up in there. Uh -huh. Right, so, yeah, I know where white thorn is. Huh? I know where white thorn is. But I mean, the wind is all this way. Yeah. Is that a bomber or is that a recon plane? That's a boring bomber, but I don't know what he's coming for right now. See, that other one, he actually dumped some shit. That yeah, track. I saw some of it dump right here twice. I got it on tape. Okay. Yeah, he's going up the shippy <coughs> Ron called me of all things. Did he? He didn't. I didn't answer the phone at the time. I picked up the phone. 